Hi, everybody. It is Eamon here with another episode of Pat Monk Presents. Today, coming all the way from the UK, we have Tom from Webmart. Welcome to the podcast. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, thank you very much for having me on. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. And um, for those who aren't aware, uh, maybe give us a quick download. I know you're all about sustainable marketing, but give us a quick download for those of our listeners who aren't um, really aware about what Webmart is all about. Absolutely, yeah. So Webmart, uh, we're a UK-based sustainable marketing agency, uh, but we op- have operations that we uh, in, in the US and Europe and, and around the world as well. Um, we're a certified B Corp. Um, we've been going 27 years, years this year. Uh, we started out in the world of print, it's doing long-run web offset work, um, and then over the last 27 years have diversified into providing clients with points of sale, direct mail, door drop, digital marketing services, PPC, SEO, um, to be able to deliver full integrated campaigns for our customers and do it in a way that is sustainable for the planet too. Amazing, amazing. I'm sure that over that 27 years, maybe I'm sure you weren't there for 27 years, but I'm sure the company <laughs> has changed a whole lot. And uh, like I hear that you have an eco matrix that's launching, you know, this year. Tell us a little bit more about that. That's right. Yeah. So, so we're on a bit of a mission to become the, the leaders within sustainable marketing um, communications. And so on the 18th of May, we'll be launching Ecometrics, which is our suite of, of carbon calculation tools. Um, that will provide our customers with never before seen insight into what the impact actually is of their marketing campaign. So, for example, we'll be able to calculate the impact of a website or an email campaign or a social media campaign or a, a brochure catalog, direct mail. So we can look at each individual channel, work out with a good degree of accuracy what the carbon impact of that is, and then using that data really effectively consult on how we can reduce the carbon impact of those marketing campaigns before then offsetting what we what we can't mitigate away. Um, and it will bring in new metrics that marketers have never had before. So we all measure like, things like cost per acquisition, um, return on, on investment and in particular channels. Now we're going to be able to optimize around new metrics like carbon cost per acquisition. Um, what's the uh, return on carbon emitted by channel? Um, and so we're able to then make decisions that are not just commercially viable um, and commercially sustainable, but environmentally sustainable as well. Wow. No, really, I think this is game changing because I think the, the the whole industry is more or less going to go this direction in the next five or 10 years. So being a front runner and, you know, setting, you know, the, setting this up, uh, I think it's really, you know, it's really commendable. So, you know, when you're growing, let's say, working as an agency and you're going out there getting new clients. I mean, like you're saying, you came from doing mail drops and stuff like that, you know, started out 27 years ago, but like right today, you know, 2023, what seems to be working for you? Like are you doing outreach? Is it LinkedIn? Is it Google? Is it email? Like what different acquisition channels are really, you know, driving the business at the moment? Yeah, it's it's always been a bit of a mix for us. I mean, word of mouth remains and I think always will be the most powerful marketing tool for pretty much any B2B business. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of our work comes from from movers and referrals, but we've we've grown organically over that time to about 20 million turnover where we are today. A lot of that has been based on our ability to, mm-hmm. to keep clients for the long term. So we've worked with a lot of the businesses that we work with for over a decade. Um, and then in terms of acquisition, it's, yeah, a combination of word of mouth. We're doing more and more... Um, of our own marketing we do loads of marketing for other people but we seem, we seem to have neglected our own um mm-hmm. so we've been investing in that over the last couple of years to to really get the word out there um but the reason that a lot of, of uh, age, uh, a lot of businesses and brands work with us is they've seen that what we've done in the sustainability space um and there's been a kind of a obviously a growing movement to take that seriously um, and factor it into people's procurement practices and marketing practices, um, which has kind of allowed us to gain more business organically as well. Fantastic. And and definitely like when you have long-term clients and they're happy, they're more inclined to talk to other because successful business owners usually know other business owners. So yeah. <laughs> like you said, the best uh, best uh, marking is, um, you know, word of mouth. But for those people who are coming through these different channels, and they come to, let's say, they come to the Webmart website. I mean, how important is the website, uh, you know, taking these people who are, you know, visitors and turning them into future happy clients? Oh, it's, it's 
mm -hmm. virtually every business these days, your website is obviously your main marketing tool, your main sales tool. So the ability for that to effectively communicate your value proposition and convert effectively is massively important. Um, you know, whenever we start out working with a new client, we, we often look at the the kind of the sales funnel and we start at the bottom of the funnel, um, which is how do we ensure that we're converting as many people as possible who are who are coming to our website, who are engaging with our salespeople. Um, and that's the bit we look to optimize first because you've you've spent all the money and time and effort in getting them there. It would be such a shame if they weren't converting at the optimum rate. So it's it's a hugely important part of the marketing mix. Exactly. No, it definitely is. And talking, uh, kind of switching gears a little bit and talking more about you as a leader when marketing, I mean, what keeps you busy on a day-to-day -day basis? Lots of things. <laughs> Lots of things. So over the last, um, me personally, over the last two and a half years, it's, it's been about building out these eco-metrics tools that we're launching uh, in May um, and kind of consulting with sustainability professionals, marketing professionals about what's important to them and ensuring that that what we bring to market is market leading and really accurate. Um, with customers, uh, it's a lot's been about how do we achieve the same objectives for less so we've seen a bit of a shift for people buying marketing services as a commodity which is i need x how do i get it for the cheapest possible to buying the benefits of the marketing and saying we need to get to here in the next 6 12 18 months three years whatever it is how can we get the the correct mix of channels in order to cost effectively reach those objectives so I guess consulting with the, the kind of wider team internally at Webmart and with the customer and their other agency partners and collaborating on on how we reach those objectives. No, no, it's yeah, you know, working together and um once you have the same vision, that's like that mm -hmm. that's the that's a great starting point because I've seen it and in projects before where it's not quite aligned and it comes to two or three weeks later, it's like, oh, that's completely not what I think. Yeah, and we, we even see it a lot still with businesses, particularly larger organizations that we work with, where they have their um big marketing departments and a lot of them tend to fall in the trap of them operating in in individual silos, either by individual marketing channel, like somebody looks after the website, somebody looks after offline, somebody looks after install point of sale or whatever it may be, and not effectively linking those different channels together uh, around a common objective. Um, and that's that's a missing piece that I, I feel a lot of businesses have, and we try and plug that gap and look at look at the marketing mix holistically um, to ensure that they're all working together to support one another rather than just different projects that are being handled by different people and, and you kind of hope they all work. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's that is definitely key. And like jumping into some other questions, I mean, um, imagine if you could turn back time and you go back to your first day, your first week, your first month in WebMart, what would you change or what would you do differently? Like what advice would you give yourself? um to niche down i think it's very easy to to slip into the trap of trying to be all things to all people to to open it up but there's a there's a big wide world out there there's lots of lots of fantastic companies who are acting as your competitors um and you're never going to win trying to be all things to all people so pick a niche and become the best at that um so for us that's sustainable uh, delivering marketing sustainably um and we know that we're the best at that and that's going to allow us to to kind of grow on into the future but definitely when i first started out it was about trying to be like everything to everyone because it, it, it sort of it feels at the time like that's the best way to get the the, the quickest growth but it's not no 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 it's, it's about figuring it, that out so like um i want to give you the last word and you know thank you so much uh for you know taking the time uh, this morning tom to, yeah. to jump on and to being on the podcast but many people would forget everything that we just spoke about and you want to give them really one thing to remember about webmart um mm. what would that be i want to necessarily say something about webmart i would say something about um sustainability in their marketing practice and we have a a really really simple kind of four-step approach to it and regardless of people work with us or work with anyone that they can these steps can be followed to reduce their impact on the environment mm -hmm. the first step is calculate so assessing the carbon impact of your marketing the carbon impact of your business it's getting easier and easier to do there's loads of tools online that can help you do it 
doing an assessment to find out which areas are causing the biggest impact. Second is mitigate. So once you've done that calculation, you're armed with the data you need to be able to effectively reduce your impact on the environment. Mm -hmm. um, and again, different businesses of different sizes will be able to do that to different degrees, but everybody can do it in some way, shape or form. The third is then once you've reduced as far as you possibly can, offsetting the remainder through certified schemes around the world. There are lots of them. Some are better than others, um, but it's worth doing. And then the fourth is communicate. So explain to your customers and your suppliers and other stakeholders of the business what you're doing, why you're doing it and what your impact is, because that's going to help influence others and make a make a bigger difference. Well, I couldn't say anything better myself. So if you want to find out a little bit more about, you know, Ecomatrix that's launching, about Webmart, I, I believe your website's webmartuk.com. That's the one, yep. So definitely check you guys out. Um, and definitely, I, I, I love what you're doing with sustainability and everything that's happening in the world. I think it's a, definitely a massive jump forward. And I hope more companies in different areas, not just in marketing, take uh, take the leap as well. So thank you so much, Tom, for uh, being on the call. And I look forward to hearing more about Webmart surely in the future. And that is it for today's episode. So looking forward to seeing everybody on the next episode. All the best and bye-bye. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.